All right, now welcome to SC Custom Designs. Um, this is the series that we where we are making a, a stool for our church for the speakers. If you haven't been following the series, I I highly recommend that you do look up video number one. I've been making a lot of videos on this; haven't had time to put them all up there. Um, but uh, we go we go over every step. Uh, on how we're making this thing. This part here is the stool, the uh, footrest. And um, what I decided to do, and I'm going to explain everything here, everything it took to get this done. Um, but this is the, the footrest where the folks can rest their feet. This is where the feet, the legs, are going to go through there. We're going to have dowels come through here all the way through the leg and into here <clears throat> that's not going to go anywhere and of course i'll glue it um, so that's this part here that we're discussing um, i <laughs> thought i brought down the system this is a rockler system um, for and it's a template system and what you're looking at here is software that you can use and then print it out to print it to PDF. It takes all of the brain work out of it. In, in other words, you're going to get a box full of all these letters, and there's times where you're going to have two templates to make, for example, the R, the O, the A, and the zero. Okay, so those are here. And uh, also to make uh, the two dots, which you don't see here, but I put uh, a colon here between the 10 15 okay um, I entered the colon here but it kept deleting it <laughs> it was weird <laughs> it's like what um, so yeah you can go into rockler.com you can just search for uh, the, the template system and the software that will actually lay it all out for you um, so this is distributed by rockler companies 2012 2015 rockler woodworking and hardware um, I'm not sponsored by Rockler, um, so just know that. Um, this is the scripture, Romans 10, 15. Uh, basically, what I wanted to bring up from that verse is how beautiful are the feet of them um, that preach good news. So I thought that was very appropriate um, for because the feet are going here and <laughs> they're preaching or teaching. So, All right. Again, this is SC Custom Design. If you like what you see, we appreciate it if you uh, subscribe to our channel. And uh, we've built lots of stuff through the years. Um, so let, let's get down to this now. These are the templates. And they basically are notched in like a puzzle. You notch this one, push it down into this one, so on and so forth. And that's how they all stay together. They highly recommend that you use a, a tape. And I did. Not only did I put tape on the top, I learned that it's also a good thing to put tape on underneath it as well. Okay, that helps to hold this system in place. Now, the, I had, uh, I don't know if he's a, a subscriber or not of my channel, but he asked me basically my words, why don't you just uh, spray paint or something like this uh, in through to the templates and then remove it and then uh, router it freehand and my basically my answer to that or reply was in several different replies have you ever done that um and i wouldn't do that because i'm just not that good when you router through into wood you're going to hit this grain and it, th th this is a very unpredictable system the idea of the bit spinning in, in trying to go perfectly following this template. Even doing that was not easy for me. Some of the gotchas for me was I nicked this here. Um, I nicked this here. And uh, I may have nicked another one because this bit fits um, the bushing um, the, or the template guide that goes in. The circle here is absolutely 
there's no room for error. Like for example, with this here, you have to put it down perfect or you're going to nick it. I think I did nick it a little bit. Um, another tip I want to give you is, uh, for example, let's just say the S. you got to turn the router on. You're going to go very carefully down. I actually sat on this stool the entire time and I did one letter. I, I'll do a pass and if, if I couldn't, um, if it was stopping for some reason, hitting hard grain, I just stopped the router, lifted it up, and, and moved on. As I get more experience, I'll probably get better at it. But um, another tip that I have for you is that when you're routering, and the battery's out, by the way, when you're routering, and let's just say we're following um, this S, you, you don't want to keep the router like this and then proceed through the S. What you want to do is let the router turn as you're going through the template. It will be so much easier for you. If you try to force it, keeping it straight the entire time, it's going to be very difficult for you. Maybe others are having better luck with it. But I found let the router do what it wants to do. Another thing is hold very firmly. Once you do get it set down in there, Hold it firm, but don't push too hard. Just go nice and easy, but obviously you want to be have, have good short footing. This, this is my experience. This is the second time I've used this. The first time I used it was on a bigger set. Um, it's called the State Park set, and these letters are a lot bigger. It's also more forgiving. I think I only hit one of the templates um, when, when I did that there um here it is here it's the sorry about the shaking the interlock state park system now there's they have three sizes they have a, a small medium and large this is the small i'm so glad that i purchased the small all right enough yanking let's see how i did i don't even know if i did it right <laughs> i'm letting you you the viewer see this for the first time with me Oh, not too bad. Romans 10, 15. Yeah, is it perfect? Nope. Is it way better than it would be if, <laughs> if I did this by hand? This would be a nightmare if I did this by hand. So, um, there you go. One of the mistakes I made was letting the, the tape come out too far, so I had to cut it. You can see that I'm going to have to, I'll sand that out. You won't know that that's there. And so, there you go. Um, I think I've got a long way to go before I'm completely proud of uh, my skill sets doing this. For whatever reason, for me, it doesn't come natural whatsoever. Um, it's very arduous. It's hard. I'm not whining. I'm just telling you that that's the, that's the truth. Um, but as time goes on, and I will tell you this, I was going to come over uh, to this piece, and I was going to put on here another scriptural re reference i'm not doing that because i you know i put a lot of work into this this is two pieces of two by 12 uh joined up and then joined together um i, I don't want to ruin it it's that simple and this the, underneath you can see that i routed that out not routed i'm sorry i didn't route it out uh it was just two two step process i i chiseled it out and then I routed the very, very bottom. I just left like just a teeny, teeny bit. And then I, uh, I routed and made it exactly flat. All right. So I hope that you, uh, I got this uh, January 26th, January, February 26th, possibly, or May. <laughs> I, I just don't remember. Um, but the kit does come with um, this this here. This is the template guide. And here's another, here's another one of those gotchas. Um, if I didn't have this plunge router unit, which is a, a part of this DCW600, the router plunge part is model DNP612. 
router plunge base type one. If I didn't have this, I wouldn't, this would be useless to me. I'd have to order another one. Um, this is the base. I'm chasing a base I can't find. Oh, it's over here. Um, this is the, the, the normal base. That hole is too big. And uh, I discovered that the first time when I did this unit over here. Uh, it has a bigger router bit, of course. Um, and, and so at any rate, yeah. And so you got to get a separate bushing for that one. It's the bigger font set. So there you go. Live and learn through that. Hopefully you've, you've learned some things from me. Uh, take care. God bless. Like I said, I've got, uh, I don't know, 800. I didn't say I, that yet, but I have 800 plus videos on all kinds of stuff that I make. An example, and i got to turn you around. Sorry for flipping around like that. But this is a munitions box that I in, uh, started a long time ago. And I made I made the first one with, with dovetails. These are pintails. Uh, this is a drawer. And this is the lid. And um, so on and so forth. I just love, love making things. Anything that you see in the shop, like the 66-bit router bit set from MLCS Woodworking, um, I went ahead and did an unboxing. That's, that's also that company's drill press table, which is pretty cool. I also have another product from MLCS. And that's this horizontal router table. I didn't even know that was a thing <laughs> until until I was reading their magazine. All right, thanks a lot. I was going to say our usual goodbyes. And behind me, by the way, is a, a chart with all kinds of, of joinery that I like to keep hanging around. Um, and then I got another one over here, 75 types of wood their hardness and how they were used. That's a good thing to have in your shop as well. But we'll say our usual goodbyes here at SD Custom Designs. Um, Shalom uvecha. Chalim shalim barat zver. Goodbye to my friends in Israel. It's Hebrew. Masalami to my Muslim friends or Arabic friends in Jerusalem, in Israel. Um, and we wish wish them all the best, the peace in the Middle East. Uh, I want to say Tutsins, uh, Afrikaans. Goodbye. Tzaychin. That's goodbye in Mandarin, Mandarin, mainland China. I traveled all over the world as a teenager uh, doing works of mercy and this, that, and the other for the Lord. So, all right. Thank you. Take care. God bless. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate it.